And welcome back. Um, Warframe Vorus Prize, Episode 2. Oh, never mind. That has to be a toggle. Because here's the thing, I can't just like hold down a shift key. I have to hold down the left stick. Restore ship communication. I still find it really weird and not- Oh no, it's a spy mission. Uh oh. But yeah, I still find it supremely weird that um you start on earth even though earth is not actually the beginning planet mercury is a beginning planet so i'll be honest with you i do not like spy missions and it's gonna be even worse on a controller you need is in a nearby data vault. Infiltrate the vault and retrieve the segment. The Ascalus is working, breaking through. I see the shadows of your mind. <laughs> oh, so it needs to be, yeah. Data Vault is equipped with a variety of security measures. How you defeat those measures is up to you. Oh, glorious. That's not the way I wanted you to go. Hey, you. I remember how you you sprint backwards, isn't it? I don't even remember how. Of course. You, do you mind? I'm uh, a bit busy. There we are. That needs to be turned up even more. Hm. Um, this is probably not a good idea. Never mind, it's a perfect idea. I can't just hook up a mouse and keyboard, can I? That's gonna take some getting used to as well. Stop it. The target console is nearby. 
If you trigger the alarms now, the enemy will start destroying data. All right, now here we go. Thank goodness this part of the water is not electro electrified, huh? Thank goodness for that. I was about to say, that better not turn on the security. Data extracted. They won't even know it's gone. The segment is yours. Head to extraction. As every moment passes, the Ascaris burrows deeper, revealing you. <laughs> Are they? Oh no, they're safe. Maybe. So is that just a giant uh, boar? I believe it is. You know, I'll be honest with you, I actually really like the motion controls. But yeah, I'm kind of getting flashbacks, obviously, to when I started playing this game. Which is, uh, which is the point, wasn't it? But yeah, I'm gonna have to do some serious platinum grinding. You're fucking joking. You are joke. I thought we were past this, but apparently no. This is just... I'm cursed. I am literally cursed. Wait, what? Wait a second. Um... Hold that thought. My router seems to not have power. Alright, I don't know if my router overheated or what. But yeah, I I legitimately thought we were past um this, but uh, apparently again, as I mentioned, I'm cursed. 
I'm not allowed to play any games, especially on the consoles, without um, losing everything. Actually, the thing of uh, Wi-Fi might be... Excuse me? When you are ready, proceed to the navigation console. Why the hell can I see Luau? Fucking hell. I'm going to be pissed, aren't I? Indeed, I believe I will be. Yeah, we get it. The segment you need is in a nearby data vault. Infiltrate the vault and retrieve the segment. The Ascaris is working. Breaking through. I see the shadows of your mind. <laughs> Let me tell you, boy, there's not much in there that you must be seeing then. But this makes me wonder how, so originally I was going to do, you know, PS4 version being like the one that I do all the quests in. Because a lot of the, you know, like, this is an intro quest, obviously. Um, Secrets of the Oricon, huh? What the? I, it is going to take a, a lot to get used to this. There we go. No, stop. Fine, we'll just bullet jump like this. Or not. The 
The target console is nearby. If you trigger the alarms now, the enemy will start destroying data. No, what? She's run I it's gonna take a while to get used to that. No, what are you doing? Don't do that. Here's the thing, I think I'm used to the higher level ones where it goes way faster the entire time. I didn't even know you could do that. I think that is literally the first time I have ever actually turned that off. As every moment passes, the Ascoris burrows deeper, revealing you. So we have to be running in order to get a bullet sprint to work. Although sometimes it'll just roll. Oh, okay. This is definitely where I want to be. So let's see, I believe up to everything past second dream. Um, well, yeah. I believe I have videos of that, so... That doesn't mean I'm gonna stop playing, this isn't classic or whatever. Alright! Oh yeah, that's right, you get Exalted Blade stuff as, like, separate. Orbiter Void Cloak engaging. Welcome back, Operator. The Operator has recovered a segment. In in install it now. Orders patiently awaits its installation. Interesting. Get communications online. I must analyze what Vor's Ascaris is doing to your Warframe. <laughs> this technology is beyond the Grenier. It must be Corpus in origin. Systems engaging. I suppose this will do. Ordis is grateful. The operator is now connected with other Tenno in the system. The operator may now contact all black market scumbags. Contact arms dealers. Hmm. Excellent idea, Ordis. Oh, Tenno, that's a weapon. We need to make contact with a corpus defector sympathetic to the Tenno cause. They will, of course, require compensation. You see what Ordis is referring to, Operator? In this case, compensation will not be credits. It will be freedom. I updated navigation. You will need to break him out of a Grenier Gulag. A Gulag, huh? Seems like goulash to me. Anyway, I'm not gonna join a clan till later. Instead, we're going to do this. A little too meaty for my taste. I have seen this skin 
so many times when I was doing this originally. Like, yeah, those weird watermelon colors, I've seen so many times. Yeah, sure, we'll go deep blue. Yeah, sure, let's go full blue. Why not? Like, without the subtleties of the other um, color packs, you really can't get... Ooh, never mind what I was saying about getting a cool color. Wait, what, but he's not supposed... Oh, never mind, he is. He's in a Grenier Gulag, remember? No, stop. Because that's going to be it for this episode, though, so enjoy this video, you know what to do. See ya!